Welcome to Dowerton.com. Today we're going to be talking about a stylus. Not just any stylus, a paintbrush stylus. This is the Silstar Boot Touch uh, paintbrush stylus for any capacitive touchscreen uh, tablet. So if it, it'll be something that works on your iPad, your Windows tablet, and an Android tablet. And so why would you have this? Well, if you're uh, someone who wants to get into digital media painting, um, you know, and if you're a painter, uh, it might be kind of different, difficult to get into it if you're used to using a paintbrush and uh, most things are either either finger oriented or you have a, a pen of some sort. And so this could be a good bridge type of uh, device because basically it, uh, it simulates your finger but in a paintbrush and so it might be less of a jarring, uh, jarring uh, transition. So let's open this up and let's put it to, to the test on some painting applications on various platforms I have and let's see if it's something that you're interested in. All right, so let's take a look at what the Bootech is like. Let's just open it up. If I can get it to come out. Er. There we go. All right, put that away. And uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so there's little quick instructions for how to get the brush out. And uh, nothing much else. This is a kind of a foam block. So we will try this out. Okay, so uh, first impressions is it's very lightweight. Uh, it, um, I believe it's, it's mostly just plastic material, so it actually feels very lightweight. And uh, let's take a look. We'll take this out, and the instructions said is to slide this little silver piece out. And there we have it. So there is the brush. And uh, does this sit in the back there? Nope, doesn't doesn't uh, fold back. So, but. Um, so you have to you put the cap away somewhere, but it's a nice feeling brush. Uh, so let's um, well let's start using it and see what it's like. Okay, so let's take a look at the Silstar Boot Touch on a couple of different apps. And first, we'll take a look at it on my iPad Air 2 here. Uh, and you can see I have it on my Any Angle case from Logitech, so I can prop it up, sort of like if I was working on a canvas or an easel. All right, so we'll. Take this off and put it to the side, bring the brush out. Uh, so, first things first to talk about what this thing is sort of like. It really is nothing more than a specialized version of one of these. These are the standard like uh, rubber tipped uh, styluses that you would get for an iPad uh, that works on pretty much any capacitive touch device. So, indeed, so if I were kind of just uh, use a brush here, I can oops, run programs accidentally uh, or just uh, move things around. So just like my just like my finger would, it just kind of takes that takes that um, you know basically extends that into a brush. So first things first, um, programs I like to use on here just kind of doodle around with are things like uh, Sketchbook, Procreate, and pa Paper. Uh, if you've not used any of these programs, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend taking a look at them. Paper especially is really nice. Uh, paper has a you know it's specifically designed for the iPad. It has a very interesting interface that's very much touch friendly where you can kind of pinch and, and zoom out in and out of things so for example we'll just go over here and work with it so um, I have I'll just use a brush because you can use any of these tools honestly like a pencil and stuff but a pencil doesn't translate this doesn't translate well into a pencil it feels really funny if you do but uh, once again because because this simulates the idea of working with natural media like watercolor or gouache or something like that on a digital canvas uh, using a brush uh, is better suited for this purpose so all right well let's see we'll just use like a little red color here and we'll just start working and really a lot of the work that's be, that's being done for the colors here are actually part of the program the program does the work dealing with the, with the strokes but once again you know, using a brush on here and the iPad Air 2's uh, um, touch sensor is very very sensitive uh, and sometimes for some reason it's registering uh, multiple t uh, multiple finger touches for some strange reason I don't know why uh, so once again if I tilt this to the side you can see that I'm pretty much using it if, as if I was working uh, on a digital on a canvas uh, on an easel so it kind of gives if you're a person that's used to working with watercolor and or brush work and want to get into digital and just seems like the idea of using one of these is not very attractive this could give you that 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 feeling because once again 
you know, if I use this, I could just do the same thing here, you know, using do the same type of work here. The one difference, obviously, is like with this one being a rubber tip one, it feels like I'm using an eraser to paint, and that this really is a. Um, if you're a painter, I can see that being a very um, detracting feeling because you're kind of rubbing against the screen, and that's not how uh, a paintbrush is supposed to feel. So let's use some other programs real quick. Talk about those, and we'll look at, some, at this on some other devices because, obviously, being that it's a more or less a, a capacitive stylus itself, it works on uh, not just the iPads, but it'll probably should work on surfaces as well as Android tablets as well. Uh, so we'll just use a Retina preset, and I will go and choose a paintbrush. And this is this is Procreate. This is actually a great program as well. I'll use a flat brush here, like so, and I'm going to use. Uh, let's just go with a nice little kind of a reddish color again to start with and we'll just start working so uh, I'll just tilt this aside a little bit so we can kind of kind of see and with Procreate I can basically control the size of the brushes here right there on the side here so you can get some nice wavy patterns going And I don't, have to, I don't really have to touch the screen all that much because you see the brush stroke kind of just appears kind of where the tip of the brush is. So, if I choose a different color, for example, right here. So you can see it works just fine. And it is a much smoother experience, obviously, than, once again, using one of these where you're kind of kind of erasing on the screen so so this is definitely a much more pleasant experience if you if you're going to try to replicate painting all right one last look over here with another program sketchbook sketchbook uh, for the iPad I can do something similar choose like another RNG reddish color here uh, use a brush here and I can kind of well the brush isn't as uh, I, don't the, I don't know the settings work right because it's kind of like a big blotchy thing but yeah you get the idea that it does work like that so all right we'll, we'll get we'll get away from the ipad real quick and we'll just talk about using it on some other tablets i have and we'll just see how it works okay so here i have my actually original surface uh, rt machine uh which you know it's nice it's a nice tablet and all but it doesn't really it doesn't have a stylus of its own and um well, it's you know relatively underpowered machine but you know it has some nice programs that come with it like fresh paint we'll go use fresh paint and once again, we'll use the brush. All right, so we will do a new painting over here. All right, so new, come on, new. There we go. And what then we'll use a brush. And Fresh Paint's kind of a neat program because it really is uh, meant to try to simulate brush, brush work. So we'll see how well this works here. And let's see here. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And we'll use a little red color here. Go with that. All right, so we'll just go and start working. So you can see that I have a certain brush here, and you see that it does work on the screen, just like just like once again, just like your finger would work, or just like with you know, one of these little rubber thingies. It uh, <laughs> it doesn't work too well. Never mind. Don't ignore this. But like your finger, it works just just equally as well. And once again, if I tilt it to an angle here, you can see that I am not on the screen at all. But you can see that uh, I'm producing brush strokes just fine with the software. So let's uh, go and take a larger brush here and just kind of go through with it. And you get the little natural media thing going where the colors are mixed and everything. So you see, so this does work on other devices. So not not just uh, an iPad. So if you have an, uh, a Surface RT and you're particular to Fresh Paint, uh, th this is uh, a good alternative to getting some sort of like at least some stylus op functionality to your uh, some brush functionality to your drawings. So then, so you're not having to do use your finger. Although you know, if you're used to using your finger, that's still an option. This just gives you an extra feel of being a painter on a digital canvas. Uh, let's see. Let's. I'm gonna take a look at one more device. I'll do an Android device, and we'll uh, wrap it up. So, so stay tuned. Okay. So here I have my my Note Pro, my 12-inch Note Pro, 
and we're going to use this on here now of course the note pro itself has a digitizer built in as a wacom but you know hey for the for the for the discussions we'll take a look and see how the boot touch handles using digital paint on an android device just to, just to make sure that we understand that it does work we'll boot up art rage over here which is actually a very nice program for android as well as windows and oh you see my horrible painting what i was goofing around with before we'll just get a new painting and we're not going to save that that's embarrassing okay we will use just the defaults here and we'll just create a new uh, a new canvas all right so what we'll do is we'll have that blue color as well as you right off the bat you can see that uh, this does work uh, and I can basically start painting now art rage is a very nice program because it actually has a lot more realistic uh, media handling so I have a paintbrush here uh, which has kind of like a thick kind of watercolor or no thick kind of like oil or thick media and you see how it's got the, the shadows along with it and I can easily just use this another regular brush here and just kind of go through that media uh, flatten it out or use a a tool to kind of scrape it through get some some other uh, texture or feel going there so, but you can see that there you can see the 3d nature of the new media that's on top of it so so Art Rage is actually a very cool program and it's available for Windows as well as Android so, so it's a very cool program. Actually, it's also available for iOS. I can't say for sure how well good it is for iOS, but you know, this is something you can look into as well. So as you see that that this the the, the boot touch does work uh, pretty much on anything that uh, has a, a capacitive touch screen, such as an iPad, uh, Android tablet, or even a Windows tablet. So, so it's really handy. And so in that sense, this is a nice little tool. If you once again are a digital painter or like to, are used to using a, a, a paint. Uh, canvas with a with an easel and this gives you a nice way of basically having once again your tablet in this kind of setup as an easel and be able to paint uh, on it and giving a bit more of a friendly experience for digital painting than if you were kind of using an eraser tip nub thing or even like a even like a a um, you know surface pen might not translate well into paint brushes because obviously you're working with a tiny tip versus a brush tip so it's entirely up to you how you want it to work, but this is a nice little tool to have in your arsenal if you are a painter. So there you have it, a look at the Silstar Boot Touch Brush for capacitive screen tablets. If you have any questions about this, please subscribe and send me a comment. Thanks for watching.